Sport and exercise. To keep our bodies healthy, we have to move around and perform activities called exercise. Exercise is all about moving parts of your body in different ways till you get tired. This makes you stronger, so the next time you exercise, you can do it for longer. There are many ways to exercise. You can do it at school, outside, or even at home. Athletics. This is called a stadium. It's a place where people do sport. A sport is a physical activity where people compete to see who's the fastest or the strongest. A stadium has a large field in the middle, surrounded by a track for running. Track and field is a sport played in a stadium. Track and field sports are made up of three types: running, jumping, and throwing. Running events happen on the running track. They are fast running events called sprints. Sprints happen over short distances where athletes have to run as fast as they can to win. Then there's middle and long distance running. Here, athletes have to run for much longer so they cannot run too fast. They have to save their energy so they can make it to the end and still come in first place. There is a special running competition called relay. Athletes are split into teams. Each athlete carries a stick, also known as a baton, and has to run to their teammate and give it to them. That teammate starts running to give the baton to the next teammate. The team whose athlete gets to the finish line first wins. Jumping events are really cool. This happens on the field of the stadium. Athletes have to see who can jump the furthest or the highest. In long jump, athletes have to run towards the sandpit and see who can jump the furthest. In high jump, athletes have to jump over a bar. The bar gets higher every time they jump. Whoever can jump over the highest pole wins. Pole vault is another kind of jump. There is a bar, like in high jump, but athletes have to use a pole to lift themselves up and over the bar. Third kind of event in track and field is throwing. Athletes compete to see who can throw an object the furthest. There are four objects that are thrown. The shot put is a heavy ball. Discus is a flat, round object that looks like a frisbee, except it's heavier. The javelin is a long, sharp pole that looks like a spear. Lastly, there is the hammer. It's not like the tool you use in building. The hammer in track and field is a heavy ball attached to a string. Many schools compete against each other in track and field events. Some schools even split up into teams and have track and field competitions for all their students. Track and field safety. Track and field is really fun, but there are rules you have to follow to stay safe. Always wear running or athletic trainers when you are doing athletics. This stops your feet from getting hurt and allows you to run for longer. Wear thin, cool clothing. It can get very hot doing athletics, and you might faint from the heat if you wear thick clothes. Stay hydrated by drinking lots of water. Be respectful to everyone in the stadium. Don't trip athletes while they are in an event, or distract them by drawing attention to yourself. If you are hurt, call a teacher or adult immediately. Every track and field competition should have a first aid medic who takes care of injuries. Swimming. Swimming is a great form of exercise. You can swim at the beach, in a lake, or in a swimming pool. Swimming is also played as a sport with different swimming strokes. Freestyle is the fastest swimming stroke. It involves alternating your arms and kicking your legs. Breaststroke is one of the most popular swim strokes. Both arms make half circles underwater while you kick your legs together. Breaststroke is the slowest of the competitive swimming strokes. Backstroke is just like it sounds. You swim on your back, alternating your arms backwards into the water while you kick your legs. Butterfly is one of the hardest swimming strokes to do. You have to lift your head and arms out of the water and dip them back in, moving forward. You hold your legs together and move your body like a wave. Swimming safety. Always have adult supervision when swimming. You could hurt yourself or get tired and need some help. It's fun to play in the pool, but don't dunk other kids underwater or play roughly with them. They could drown.
If someone is drowning in a pool, call an adult immediately who knows how to swim. When people can't swim, they tend to climb onto anything they can find. If you go out to save them and are not a very good swimmer, they could pull you down into the water with them. When swimming in competitions, wear a swimming cap and a bathing suit that fits your body. Loose clothing can slow you down in the water and get caught on objects around the pool. Warming up. When you do exercise, your muscles are working very hard. To get them ready for exercise, you have to warm them up. Warm-ups is something every athlete has to do. It consists of mostly easy exercises that prepare your body for the physical activity you're about to do. There are many ways to warm up. Some involve jumping up and down. Others involve running or jogging slowly. After a warm-up, you will feel your muscles tingling. That means they are ready for some physical activity. Physical exercise is important for everyone. Not all of us can be the athletes, but we can be physically fit. People who stay physically fit live much longer and happier lives and don't get sick very often. Have fun exercising!